This? Those okay. are roadies. <laughs> this is Jesse and Sully with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is May 29th. It is approximately 5 p.m. Um, this is a upload video for job number 46653466. We are roughly about 45 feet inside of the home and pulling back. The line is cast iron. We just wanted to show uh, kind of the uh, condition of the cast iron. It is looking really rough and starting to show signs of channel rot. Um, where you can actually see that the camera will dip down into a small channel of water in the bottom of the pipe. Um, this is something that takes years and years and years to develop, but over the time the water running through that path will start to cut its way through. These are lines tying in. As you can start to see a little bit by the raised ridges on the bottom of the pipe, you can actually tell that that's starting to cut a channel through. You can see here, it's got a pretty good divot in the bottom of the pipe. We also have some lines tying in on top, and we are about to start leaving the foundation of the right there. Right here is the transition from cast iron to orangeburg, and you can tell the orangeburg based off of the texture of the pipe. And as you can see, there's a large section of it missing there. If we want to push forward back into that real quick pop up and out. Okay, now pull back down. You can see we actually drop down underwater. This is a pitting and bubbling effect of the cast or of the uh, Orangeburg. Orangeburg is incredibly unpredictable um, and is very prone for having issues. Looks like the top of the pipe is missing on this part. It's a little bit harder to see. Try and push past over that bump real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see that dark patch on the top there, that's probably a hole going through the pipe. And by the top, you mean... Or at least the, some layers. By the top, you mean the right-hand side of the screen. Yeah. As you can see, divoting back down into the water. These are all areas where solids, debris, uh, anything like that can collect and start to accumulate and cause a blockage. Orangeburg's in pretty rough. Yeah, top there is also starting to disappear. It's in pretty rough shape. This is something that would have to be excavated uh, and removed. That's a blister there. Mm-hmm. That's really ovaled. Um, this can happen basically the Weight of the ground over the top of the pipe starts to weigh down on it and will make the pipe oval and eventually collapse. At that point, there's nothing you can do besides dig up and replace. Roots growing in. Yep, there's roots growing in. A little bit of toilet paper. More of the top closing down on the top. A lot missing up there. Big old bubble in the middle, that's a blister. More top pipe missing. This hole there? That's so rough, that's a lot. And here we transition back into PVC pulling towards the clean out on the south side of the property line towards the fence. 
looks like there's a rock on the top of the pipe here. Not a problem now. Has potential to become a problem later. And another one right here on the bottom of the screen. Looks like it was buried on top of a rock. A little bit of a change of direction. I don't know if that's a clean out or whatnot, but I didn't. It wouldn't be. They probably just did a sweet 45 or something. As you can see here, we're starting to pull back through water. This line should be empty if it were installed with the proper grade of a quarter inch per foot. There would be none of this standing water, so either the pipe wasn't bedded properly when it was put in, or just settled. That belly will get worse over time. Another belly. Not as bad. Looks like it was buried on top of another rock right there again. And going into a much deeper belly where the camera completely goes underwater. That's at least a two inch belly. And we should be almost pulling up and out of that clean out here shortly. This section is a lot worse than the others. This is probably where our initial issue uh, started. And then as it worked its way down, started collecting on the break that is right there. As you can see that on the left hand side of the pipe. Uh, there is a missing pipe there and stuff is just collecting and snagging up there and causing it to back up. And we're pulling up and out of the clean out now. These clean outs were also installed improperly. Um, they're supposed to overlap, meaning the one that goes down and out towards the street passes the one that goes down and up towards the house. So that way there's no dead space between the two. And in this instance, there's a break between the two, making it to where the only way that it could be uh, cleaned out was via the jetter. And it is open and flowing at this time. That is your video inspection.